August 2006. My first visit to Mongolia. The blue sky across this great land seems to have no end. For this reason, Mongolia is known as the land of eternal blue sky. For a long time, the nomads have lived in this vast plain, raising the cattle, respecting and coexisting with nature. However, expansion of the market economy in the 1990s has widened the gap between the rich and the poor. Since 1919, Mongolia has been moving towards democracy and has opened itself towards market economy. Along with this progress, about half of the population chose to live in the urban areas. Moreover, it is said that more than a quarter of the population live on less than a dollar a day. To alleviate this poverty in Mongolia, UNDP has supported the One Village, One Product Initiative. These women are weaving traditional Mongolian tapestry. UNDP has supported to establish a training center to teach weaving in aim to increase income for women. The women trained here can rent a loom so they can work at home. Ms. Enkuzaya is one of the women trained at the center and now she's earning money by weaving at home. She says that weaving has brought her and her family a steady income. With the culture of respecting nature and tradition, each region in Mongolia produces a unique local product. However, most of the products are produced only on a small scale and with limited distributing channels. UNDP is supporting producers of these locally branded products in aim of adding value to the products and expanding the income and employment opportunities. This honey is in the process of expanding distribution channels. Since May 2005, the One Village One Product Initiative has selected eight products as their first pilot projects. Like these embroidery products, many are applying and waiting for support. This UNDP project will be financed by the government of Japan over the next three years. The annual average rainfall of Mongolia is mere 10 inches. Even though Mongolia has four times of the land of Japan, this makes a harsh environment for agriculture. I came across an area where fruits were cultivated. A unique fruit of Mongolia called sea backbone is cultivated here. Good jam and fruit juice are made from these little red berries. The grant was provided to the local community for restoration to cultivate the fruits. Now, along with it, various vegetables are also grown here. Training and workshops for the neighboring communities are also in plan. These are to secure the sustainability of livelihood. The volunteers in the community dug a well inside the ranch. I was happy to see that the people had accepted agriculture as a new form of livelihood. The average annual temperature of Mongolia is 0 degrees Celsius. During the coldest period, it can reach up to minus 50 degrees. Coal is usually used for heating. UNDP proposed an energy-efficient insulating technology and a new building material to reduce the carbon dioxide emissions of coal. The new material is strong. 
I visited one of the houses under construction. I was amazed by the idea a house built with straw. Use of natural resources leads to protection of the environment and livelihoods of the people. Subvention is provided to these houses in hope to attract the low income families' interest in this energy efficient housing. In Mongolia, ISO supports provided by UNDP starting to bloom across the country. Under this blue sky, again I ponder the meaning and importance of development cooperation. <laughs> <laughs>